We continue to receive reports from Orissa in India where Christians still face severe opposition from militant Hindus who are determined to destroy Christianity. The man in our next story has not let a severe attack dampen his desire to serve Jesus and spread the gospel. Purna Chandra Degal bears the scars of a terrifying event that occurred on August 25, 2008 and nearly claimed his life. At 11 in the evening, they were shouting slogans to their Hindu gods. There were about 150 people. When I heard that, I left my house and I hid myself. Purna ran into the jungle and watched as the mob set his house on fire. After he thought they left, Purna returned to his house to recover some of his belongings. The mob returned and attacked me and beat me brutally with big sticks, stones, and hit me in the head and the face with a knife, and I also lost a tooth. Purna was also beaten on the leg and as a result is not able to walk properly. During the attack, the 48-year-old husband and father of eight prayed to the Lord. I said to the Lord that many people have come prepared with swords and sticks. Lord, I can't do anything. I am all alone. You are my only fortress, so take care of me. I was bleeding severely. I didn't think I would survive. Perna then lost consciousness, and the mob left him to die. However, two Christian men found him and took him to a hospital in a nearby village eight kilometers away, where he received some basic first aid. When my wife heard about what happened to me, she and one of my daughters came out from the jungle and took me back to the jungle. Perna, his wife Basanti, and some of their children had spent three days in the jungle when a group of 15 Hindu militants found them. We were threatened that if we didn't go back to our village and stay here, they would take our lives. That night, we returned to our village. Four days after the brutal attack, Perna finally received proper medical care. His story was reported by a local newspaper. Later, his family went to live in a nearby relief camp. For three months, I was unable to get up from my bed. I got treatment at a Christian medical place. Perna is thankful to the Lord that he and his family are still alive. No one in my village died, but nearby four or five people I knew died. Perna believes he was targeted because it was well known that he is a Christian. But the attack that left him injured and his home destroyed has not weakened his faith. In fact, he says it's had the opposite effect. Through this, I know that God has helped me, so that increased my faith. There are 300 families in the area where I now live, and we are the only Christian family. So I want to see my children grow in their faith and see them in the mission field so through my children, these 300 families may come to the Lord. Perna story and those of other persecuted Christians in Orissa State are included on a brand new DVD entitled Indian Voices, Testimonies of the Persecuted, and the video details the widespread violence against the followers of Jesus Christ in Orissa State and their amazing faith in the midst of persecution. You can order the DVD by going to persecution.net and then clicking on the online catalog.